guys, Sheldon Allen here with Crush TV. I'm here hanging out with Miles from Slightly Stupid. How are you doing? Good, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Are you enjoying today in Corpus Christi? Today was actually awesome. The weather was perfect. Cool. Been marinating with the boys all day. Yeah. Massage. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> um, I was going to ask you, what should uh, the fans expect tonight from you guys? Uh, it's going to be madness tonight, really. I mean, the Dumpster Funk is out here with us, and they're pretty much one of the funkiest bands on the planet and then uh, during our show it's always crazy kids are going nuts we're going nuts and that's all I can say about that <laughs> yeah yeah um do you guys have any new singles or albums coming out yeah we're actually in the studio right now recording the album um we're expecting probably something for summer yeah it's not going to be done in time for summer but uh so it's still a work in part then. Mm -hmm. yeah. we have our own studio now though so we're able to work at our own pace and do a lot of stuff um, and I know it's uh, you and Kyle have been together for approximately 16 years, something like that? Since 93 or so. Oh, even longer than that. Okay. So what, I mean, I know the other guys have come on too, but what keeps you guys together as, as a band? Uh, I mean, well, me and, Kyle, me and Kyle are like brothers. We've been fr we've been friends since we were two years old, so we've lived across the street from each other. So I mean, that's the closest thing to have to a brother without him actually being. But, uh, I mean, we all just have a good time, and I think that's what it's about. If it wasn't fun, I'd just go home and do something else. Like, yeah. it's, you know, the whole point of playing music is like getting a jam. Like, we have to play with so many killer musicians. We've gone on tour, like, you know, with Don Carlos, and Half Pine, and, you know, Snoop Dogg, and Cypress Hill, and G Love. So it's like you get to play with so many cool cats. And, like, I'm touring with the Dumpster Punk right now, and those are like the Neville Brothers. And, so it's really cool, and for us, it's pretty much you're living the blessed life every day. You, know, yeah. you hang out with your best friends. I wake up in a different city every day, and that's I awesome. see the world. So I'm a little jealous. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, gotta get out of Corpus sometime, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'll try. But um, okay. I kind of have a, a little serious question for you. I know how I feel about this, um, and I know you're incredibly what? sublime influence since back in the day. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, a sublime coming back out, but with Rome and no Bradley. Do you feel like it, it's still sublime, or? I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to state my opinion on that. But I mean, it's cool that they're they're putting the music back out for kids, right. but it's not sublime the same. With Rome, with, I mean, Brad was, you know, his voice and his style. Not, not to say that Eric and Bud aren't sublime as well, but right. Rome is not Brad, you know. But he's still good. He's a, the kid can sing, you know. And it's cool they're, you know, they're they're bringing the music to the fans that want to hear it, you right. know, and that's cool. Because right. uh, you know, unfortunately, obviously, it's been 15 years and. You know, so many kids will never get to see, you know, how incredible, you know, Sublime really was, yeah. you know, back in the day. So it's cool that they're doing it. I mean, you know, Godspeed, that's all I can say. Nice. Um, also, word on the streets, you guys are a little bit of a fan of the cabinet. Can cannabis? I almost said cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> cannabis? I was wondering if you were going to the uh, Cannabis Cup this year. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do it this year. We played last year. So oh, it was did pretty, you? Yeah, it was pretty rad. Uh, High Times brought us out there. And, uh, no judge passes? No, we got to judge too. Nice. So it was rad. It was cool. We went to this little spot and there were so many strains. And we're like, all right, just smoke them. And, you know, and like, we're like, fuck, man, after you, after you get through so many strains, you know, it's kind of like, how can you even, how can you really even make a proper judgment? But it was cool. Like, uh, we were out there with uh, High Times and the guys from Greenhouse. So, I mean, they took real good care of us. Like, as soon as we got off the plane, like, everyone had their own split. Yeah. You know, they gave us so much weed, I actually had to, like, give weed <laughs> away when I was flying out because I couldn't smoke it all. Right. It's, it's kind of rare, but it's awesome. It's <laughs> kind of rare when you can't handle it. Um, well, so are you guys going to hang out while you're down here? Are you going to get any beach time in? Or? Um, no, not, not too much beach time. We're going to hang out and party tonight, and that's, and that's yeah. about it. I want to party. We're going to party. You can come hang out. Party. It's gonna be trouble tonight. Lots of trouble down here. The trouble is my middle name. Yeah, it's all right. That's perfect. That's, all right, that awesome. fits right in with us. All right, and uh, last but not least, is there anything you would like to say to the Corpus Christi fans out there? Uh, I always just like to say thanks for coming out and making it crazy and uh, get your asses down here and let's get nuts tonight. <laughs> I love it. All right, thank you so cool. much. Right on, thanks. Appreciate it.